There's a Yoruba proverb that says, Atile, Atin Sheko. You start in your own house. You know, it starts with you. So when you see a woman that's winning and is in front and on top of her game, you know that she has had to fight a lot of battles. They tell you you're not gonna make it, but I believe that I'm capable of doing this thing, therefore I will do it. I overcame the challenges and the barriers one step at a time, and I fought for my space. We have to really like level up, you know, boss up and say, yo, this is what's up, instead of being afraid. Do I look like a boss right now? Yeah. Awesome. There is no vibe anywhere else in the world that is as amazing as like African vibes. South African sound is so beautiful and so interesting. We are booming with talent. The music landscape here is almost unimagined. It's just the music that accompanies you while you're living your best life. Uku, uku. The music being made in Kenya continues to be a super unique, very experimental, really globally cool music. Anything you want, baby. In Nigeria right now, I feel like it's like blossoming. All eyes on us right now. Starting out in the industry was daunting. If you don't fit this very sort of specific idea of Kenyan pop, it was next to impossible to book gigs. So then I invented my own night, and then that evolved into a festival. On one track, I'm a singer, songwriter, performing artist. On another track, I run two music festivals. What I have been unable to structurally change, I create, I create the thing that's needed. The industry is tough on women. I do realize that I have to work much harder than my male counterparts. Much, much harder. Charlie, don't go. Charlie, keep your promise to me. Charlie. So this is um my home studio. This is a room in my house, by the way. It might not be the everything studio, but it's my everything studio. I love you, Charlie. People's reaction to me as a sound engineer is usually like, really? I think that the work speaks for itself. So when you get past the shock, <laughs> you know, then they move on right to the important part. I wanted to create it from the beginning till the end for myself, by myself. So I went on YouTube, you know, like I wanted to learn how to mix. Well, how can I make my voice sound like this? What kind of reverb is best to use? How do you compress? How do you EQ? Basically, it's like my teacher. It empowers you. When you know you can do something, it empowers you to actually do it. There could have been many times where I, I could have acknowledged the gatekeepers, the people that are stopping you from achieving what you want to achieve or telling you that you can't or not kind of letting you in. But this has all been my vision and I'm always going to continue to do the things that I shouldn't be doing, doing whatever I can to kind of show people that you don't have to be boxed into someone's idea of who you are, you know. There were a lot of people in my life who just did not encourage me, but I was taught to never allow the things of this world to overwhelm me. I wasn't afraid to express myself, no matter how many times people laughed at me. You can just be whoever the hell you want. Maneno minaona ona mengi. Shoma jose uni noma uniwezi. Afu kweli kugomba na misipendi. Kwa sababu sisi tukititi tuna trendy. Yay! Everything that I've done was about the fact that I was able to put myself out there. I don't have a label. I have used social media to promote my work, to build connections with other artists. And that's amazing. Everything's more, it's more current and it puts power in the hands of more people.
I just took my phone, did a freestyle. Oh, do you meet Yeah, yeah. Don't let them tell you you can. But they would help you just so you know. And it just went viral. And my life changed since then. People never believed in art before. But now, parents are beginning to support their children. You know, they're beginning to support their dreams, and, and that's amazing. When you start to see these things popping up, you know, across the continent, you start to see that there is a real shift in the way people see careers in the creative industry. And I really look forward to a lot more entrepreneurs, people willing to engage with creative enterprise and just trust that majority of these skills are completely learnable, completely. If you really want to know something, the knowledge is out there for you to learn. So stuff that I don't know of until I actually go on Google and search. Well, in this century, if you have access to a computer, or a phone, you owe it to yourself to actually find out the things that you want to know. I'm literally a boss. You should see me because I just say, okay, this is how I want things. And that sometimes is all it takes. But it took me years to learn how to speak. Okay, let me see. And I wish I knew that earlier. That's the most empowering thing. All right, so and I would like also encourage oh. young girls to learn skills that would make you needed. Learn how to use equipment. Learn how to use software. Have a skill, have like something you can actually hold and say this, I can do this. When you love what you do, you live for it. You wake up every morning for it. But we were created to be, we were created to be, to excel, to be president, to be CEOs, to be superstars. Now I feel like the world is paying more attention to us. We'll get to show what we can do that no one can do like us. You want me to freestyle right now? <laughs> All right. I don't want to leave the world. No, I could have done my best. Yeah, yeah. I just want to be myself. Living life to the fullest. Yeah, all you. Yes, you, yeah. You can be what you wanna be. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you, oh, you, yeah. You can be what you wanna be. You are your fine girl. You can go where you wanna go. You can fly sky high. You can be what you wanna be. Oh, 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 you, yeah, yes, you, yeah, you can be what you want to be. Everybody's born a winner. Yeah, yeah. If only you just believe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Close your eyes and come and see.